today's vlog is going to be an interesting one because there's two things I hate in life. One is being cold and one is vlogging in public. So, let's get on with it. You're probably wondering, Jade, if you hate vlogging in public, why are you vlogging in public? But today is a very important vlog and I'm currently sitting in the little market town of Richmond in North Yorkshire waiting for my friend to pick me up. Sitting here, absolutely freezing, waiting to be picked up. We've got a restaurant opening in Manchester and then we're going to take a little trip over to North Wales to visit Bee. And I'm really excited because I've missed my pony so much. And I can't wait to show you guys what she's been up to, how she's doing. And if you're lucky, and I remember, I will include some clips from Julia of River so you can guys see how he's up to as well. friend picked me up I got to go and see his dog Atla as you can see she's a bit of a daft dog but we had lots of fun and lots of cuddles and it was really nice because I hadn't seen her in a good few weeks after plenty of cuddles it was time to head down to Manchester it was pitch black so I didn't record much but this was some of the inside of the opening VIP evening for the new Nami restaurant which is a Vietnamese style restaurant I really hope you enjoy the pictures and get a bit of a taste of what we got up to that night. everyone so today is day two of this vlog um i don't know how much i'll voice over from last night but the opening was amazing we had the best time i got this really cute little hen tattoo that i'm going to show you up close later and i'm just getting ready to go and see my sister because it's my sister's birthday and then we're going to head to the rtp so i can't wait to bring you along for that and show you guys what we get up to today <laughs> So there's a little time lapse of me getting ready, I didn't do, show you my mascara or my eyebrows because my concentration face was too much, too much for me. But yeah, I'm now ready for the day, I've got my Ulster F1 t-shirt on, I'm going to have my uh, Team Sunderland hoodie on, and then I've got my Ulster F1 yard coat, and I will have my F1 light on because I'm a little bit obsessed, basically. I love my yard coat, I love my F1 light, you will see me wear them in most videos. Um, as always, my F1 light details are all down below, so if you want to purchase your own the discount code is below as is my affiliate link to Tuttle Horse if you'd like to sign up for that and I can't wait to take you guys on today's adventure so let's get on with it. Then we started the day the best way possible with lots of dog cuddles from Ragnar and Floki before we headed off on our way. This is how my henna looked the next morning and then we went to see my sister whose birthday it was she was 10 and this is the gecko that she got so we are just filling up with fuel to go and see the pony because we realised that we then have like a 200 mile trip back home. So yeah, it's been a long day. It's been really nice going to pop in and see the family. I got to go and cuddle my siblings, say happy birthday to my sister and you know, do cards and stuff. So that was cute. She got a present yesterday because I posted them, but I wanted to give her a card in person. So it's been a really nice day actually. I mean, the weather's just taken a turn for the worst. So I'm glad I've got my big coat and I can't wait to take you all to see Bee now. And then we got to the yard and it was time to go and see Miss B. I didn't film much whilst we were at the yard, however I took lots of pictures and Andy took lots of pictures, who's my friend who came with me. So here's kind of a bit of a spam of me and B and the first time I'd seen her in weeks. And of course I had to say hello to all the other ponies, so here's just a few pictures that we took before it was time to head home and face the rain. It was a very long journey home and the weather was horrific, so I really didn't film much of the journey home, but I think this kind of gives you a good view of just how awful it was. Home, and I felt I should probably wrap up this video with some sort of explanation of how everyone's doing, what's going on, and kind of where we're at generally, like me and the horses. So let's start with B. B is currently still in North Wales with Sam. She's doing really well. Uh, she's had the farrier, her feet are healing, she's doing well on her new feed and she's living in as you will have seen in the pictures. Um, so she's happy. 
River is in Warwick with Julia and I'm going to include some clips in a minute um, of what he's been up to with Julia. He's living out in the field but he seems to be doing really well and he's really happy. So I'm happy that he's happy, you know, I miss him dearly and I'm gutted I couldn't really give him a cuddle as well because I really, really miss them both. But the needs of my horses will always come first, you know, my own happiness is secondary to their needs. I, on the other hand, are still waiting for appointments to come through. I've still not seen the specialist yet, so we still don't actually know what's wrong with my back. I'm just being given codeine to manage the pain, and I've got some fancy ibuprofen patches, I've got hot water bottles and a heat blanket, and basically I've just got to not do too much and wear my back brace a bit more. So, yeah, there's kind of not much of an update on me, which is a bit frustrating, although I am now allowed back to the gym, so I'm trying to up my fitness work a little bit to try and build some more muscle to secure where... I get the most pain which is my lower back because apparently if I have a bit more muscle behind me I will be able to support the nerves better and all that jazz. Basically I'm not a med student and I just nod and agree to my GP. <laughs> so yeah there's that and then I'm at university still so uni is kind of getting a bit busy. I'm due to start placement very soon so that's a bit chaotic and I'm trying to sort everything out for that and I kind of think that's roughly where I'm up to and then I should probably mention what's been going on at the yard. So to keep me from going possibly insane, the Society, Equestrian Society here at UOS have let me continue coming to the yard each week with them, which has been absolutely amazing. Uh, we had Halloween games last week, which is great fun. I got to take photos for that. I did some videos because obviously everyone was riding and I'm not allowed to ride. Um, yeah, I mean, not being able to ride sucks and I'm struggling a lot with that. And it's something I've definitely got to come to terms with, the fact that I'm not going to be back in the saddle until at least the new year. That, you know, I'm going to go to Olympia and look at all the pretty saddle pads and know that I can't buy any because I don't have a ridden horse anymore. I have two retirees and I've got a failing body. But it's going to be great. And I, if I remember, I will try and get some pictures at the yard and try and include those in this vlog. Because I do get to go on Cuddle Ponies each week. And if I can, I'll also include some pictures I've taken. And if not, you can find me on Instagram at Felicity Photography UK. Uh, I'll include the link down in the description and you can see some of the pictures I've been taking because the plan is that I'm going to go every week until I'm on placement so so I think that's pretty much it otherwise um, just plodding along really trying to get through I know I'm planning to film a lot for vlogmas however I know that my organisational skills are probably not going to film lots for vlogmas so I'm going to try try being the keyword and get at least one video up a week in December so fingers crossed for that keep your eyes peeled for that um, I know I've been a bit rubbish on uploading content in the last couple of months. I've just not been as on it as I wanted to. I mean, it's a new me, unfortunately. Fingers crossed, I'm going to be able to get an Olympia vlog, possibly go to Ingatestone, and yeah, maybe see if I can film a couple of lessons and what we get up to there. So, here's River eating his eating his dinner. I keep forgetting my phone at the other yard, but he knows I'm coming. He can hear me open the gates and him in Eclipse are ready. Are you so hungry? He let me through the gate. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Nom. I'm gonna hoover off the floor. Sorry, I dropped some. Nom, nom, nom. Happy, happy days. He got an extra scoop today because he's dropping weight a little bit. Seems to quite like how sort of powdery these are. Um, he seems to be tolerating it a little bit better because um, he was dropping he was dropping quite a bit when they were still a bit more solid so I think this is working oh. hello he's got eyebrows so made it He's obviously rolled many times. Um, yeah, he's happy. The weight's sort of coming back on again. As for a little yard update, here's some of the photos I've been taking over the last couple of weeks from when I've been up to the yard. And then I was reunited with my bestie, this is Jack. Jack is one of my favourite ponies at the yard and it was really nice to get to see him and have lots of cuddles.
fingers crossed i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe it really helps me out and click the notification bell so you get notified every time i upload as always the companies that i work with all the links will be down below in the description and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching guys